this is quite a tricky shot actually we're on the um we're on um, tight knit Bermuda, uh, which can really grab your club if you get it wrong. Um, and we'll go to that second flag. So it's got to carry quite a lot of rough, it's landing on a downslope. Um, what club would you use there, Adam? Well, I know you're going to give me hell if I say 60. So I'm going to take another club. And I would probably be most comfortable with a sandwich. And you'd probably say that was wrong as well. I, I, I think a sandwich is, is, a, right? is a lovely, is a lovely okay. idea. It's also got quite a wide okay. sole, your, your sandwich. It's definitely not a 60, though, is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be. You it could need. Be. But you're just inviting uh, okay. more room for error. Right. So more... Well, it's going down right to left a bit, too, so... Okay, so you've got your sandwich. Which is about yeah, look at that. I mean, that's not great. So what happened there in the, in the practice swing? Um... I mean, what, what did you notice there with the I grass? Think, yeah, just dug straight in. It just grabbed, didn't it? Grabbed straight in. In a way in. that, you know, can happen at home, but particularly So it really needs to have a more open face? Absolutely. Yeah, well done. So I would have that. Off this grass, I would always have the face a little bit open and the hand a little bit lower. So if you shuffle back a tiny bit, there we go. And, and crucially, of course, always sternum, always sternum left. I'm not doing too well on that. Right, just see okay. if I can do it. Great, so lot, lots of rehearsals until he's happy with the, the ground contact. Beautiful. Really nice. Well, for my standards, that's very, very good. By anyone's standards, <laughs> that's two feet. <laughs> really good. How was your contact with the ground? Not bad, by my standards. Heavy, light, or just right? Just right. I would say light. Okay. But you're better, better off light on this in this of right. grass. But that was an awesome shot. Okay. Now, um, have another go. Have a couple of practice okay. strokes. I'll just take that flag out of the way. How did that one feel, Adam? That felt better. So, so one of the things, then, of course, that we work on is, let me just um, step in there, is matching your, your backswing and your, your through swing in, in length. Oh. Which one do you feel was longer? Almost certainly the through swing. Yeah, yeah, it has that that quality of a, a sort of a push and a, and a guide, doesn't yeah. it? There's, um, it? Doesn't look good. It's just a bit steery. Right. So let's um, let's have a few practice swings. See, so we can really focus on the follow through being um, of similar length to the to the back swing. And what we're going to do, we're going to use an, an awareness scale. So we'll have a few practice swings. I think we need a bit more speed and some flow to the head. So we've had that that conversation before, haven't we? About you know the motion of the club needs to be it's a balance between what you do at the handle and what we what we do at the uh, and the, the momentum of the head right so if it's all momentum of the head then of course it just works it works like that that's like five percent me the rest is head if it's all kind of guided um, from the handle it looks quite stiff stiff and slow feels like control but it's, it's absolutely is that what i look like um a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yes, I mean, and it's typical, you know, uh, with, with golfers, particularly if there's any kind of strike anxiety, we'd want to control the club more and then it gets stiff and slow. Yeah. When we lose that, that flow of the head. Right. Um, so there's, there's a couple of lovely drills we can do here. One we haven't done, actually, which, we, which would be really nice, um, is just to have a few swings with the right hand only. That can really encourage that flowing motion of the head. So, I mean, it's Bermuda grass, so we'll have the face a little bit open. And just have a few practice swings, see if you can get the head flowing fairly freely. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, and we'll see if we can strike a few. As always though, sternum left of the ball. Right. I want to go down the handle a bit with the with the hand this handle, into its yeah. normal position. Yeah. So the aim of the exercise is to feel that flow and acceleration of the head. Even that looks a bit steery. Oh yeah. It's almost like you don't want to release it, Adam. Isn't it chintzy? Yeah, you're right. Let's um. I think that's one of the issues. Let's, I'm let's just have a release. let's just have a look at let's just have a look at a club a club releasing. So if you watch watch my right hand, it just works under a little bit, doesn't it? You can see, so when I finish there, I've let the weight of the club pass me. Right. Let me, let me just let me just do that for the camera, if you don't mind. Yeah. So that so that motion is rather than being sort of too stiff and steery here, allowing the weight of the club to. It's to more pass. of a pendulum. 
more of a, more of a pendulum, pendulum um, and there is that slight throw of the head as it sort of passes oh, under. Right. So while the right wrist is moving this way, the left wrist would be sort of doing the opposite. Uh, you also look for yeah, very sort of true control. It's stiff wristed, yeah. and in that, there's, we lose the flow of the head. Right. This is a little foreign to you, isn't it? This is a little foreign. Yeah. Those were which, two... which means, you know, we could, means rather than, oh, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, intuitively we think, oh, this drill's not working. But when, when it's that foreign to you, I think we need to lean into it. I think we need to, yeah. I think there's, there's a real opportunity to learn about how the head flows and how that right wrist works and releases through the ball. Nice. Good. Well done. Watch my um, watch my hand when I finish. It's up there. So the club head is kind of higher than my hand, isn't it? Right. Like that or there. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So that's that's, that's the release. <laughs> that is forbidden as a tennis player. Wow. Isn't it? That yeah. is a lot of wrist. Yeah, and of course, that yeah. is a lot of wrist. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Now we're talking. That feels heavy too. The club feels now. Let, let, let me let me just let me just um, pop in there and make, make that distinction. If it feels heavy, it might be because you've made the wrist do that. Yeah. But I'm I'm allowing the weight of the the weight of the club to do it to me. No, I get you. I'm just loose enough in that hand that the the weight is passing me. So as I swing through, the handle slows down and the club does that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not actively. Which I think is a really a really big distinction with the with the release. It should be the handle slows down, and the momentum and weight of the club puts that release in. That's lovely, Adam. Much much looser. And with release, we must have the sternum left of the ball. Yeah. Brilliant. Bit too high on me. Love it. Come on, um, come and step around here. Right, watch how far my, my hand finishes from my body now as well. Ooh, further away. Much closer than yours. All right. So you have, and you mentioned it in our, our chat earlier, you have much more body motion right. and, and drive there. And that is not a released chipping motion. Understood. So my, I am, I'm doing less here and the handle's finishing a bit closer to me. Yeah, I get you. Love it. That's much better. Where, where do we want the handle slowing down? I'm not sure I know that. Um, so there's a cock here. Yeah. And then... And then the handle will slow down about here. So as it's coming in, as, it, as the handle comes into your right leg. So I keep hold of it? Yeah. As the handle comes into your, towards your right leg, I would be applying the brakes now, and that lets the head continue on its own. And you're going to support it with body motion, but if we keep dragging the handle and holding form, you're going to get that really steery, guidey one. lag, which I don't, which I don't want. Definitely don't want lag. No, we need to be throwing the head. So the so we pull to here, slow the handle, and let the head swish past you, getting that. I get you. Getting that um, form in the no, right. I get you. I get you. So it's here, there. Yeah, love it, love it. And I think that's why Adam. Your, your, you, you get that follow through where the arms are, are so far out there. Partly, I think it's concept that you're trying to sort of turn and deliver too much sort of structure, but also not allowing the, the, the handle to slow down quick enough. Yeah. Now you really let go of this one. Look at that. It was much better. Much and, better. And, and the, look at that. I mean, that's gone to two feet. 